Joining us now is Dr. Stephen Block of Stanford University. Uh, thank you for taking time to talk to us today. My you pleasure. specialize in the area of single molecule biophysics, and you consult for the government in areas of national security. Uh, now, what can you talk to us about when it comes to these topics? Well, uh, of course, I could talk at length about my work in single molecule biophysics, which is my day-to-day -day job as a, as a scientist. Uh, but um, in the summers, I do some very different work. I consult for the government on issues related to uh, biosecurity, bioterror. Um, those are wholly unrelated. On the other hand, it is also true that biophysicists in general have something to contribute um, to national defense and to, to these issues. And as citizens and citizen scientists, we also should be cognizant of issues associated with threats to our well-being. Um, and bioterror is one of those. Cyber terror is another. Uh, general nuclear war is yet another. And these are all things that um, I think as, as scientists, we have a responsibility um, to use our, some of our expertise to get involved and to help make this a more secure world. So Dr. Block, what is the biggest uh, threat right now in terms of biological terror? I would have to say that the biggest threat in terms of biological terror is not at the hand of man, but at, at the hand of nature. The next serious emerging infectious disease is the thing that we need, really need to worry about, perhaps more so than anything else. Um, there have been a large number of diseases that periodically appear in mankind. Uh, and over the last few decades, we've seen SARS, we've seen AIDS. Um, in 1918, there was the H1N1 flu pandemic. And nature is always cooking up something. So we have to worry about that. Uh, beyond that, uh, it's now become possible to genetically engineer um, different diseases. We've learned enough about the pathways that cause pathogenesis um, uh, to be concerned now that someone of a malicious mind uh, might conjure up something uh, which is also a threat. So genetically engineered bioweapons um, are certainly a concern and people worry about this, but I still have to say that at the moment uh, nature's own threats uh, loom large in the future. So what's not being discussed about that issue? That's an interesting question. I would have to say that virtually everything is being discussed. Um, the question is what is being done about any of this? And the fact of the matter is that we don't know enough to do certain things. For example, we don't really have good antivirals that work against an arbitrary virus. Uh, we don't even have a new generation of antibiotics. So there's a lot that we'd like to be able to do that we, for various technical reasons we still cannot do. There are a number of countermeasures we'd like to have in place um, for uh, both man-made and natural um, uh, bio events, and uh, it's though there's work that needs to be done on that. Uh, there's work that needs to be done to prop up the moribund pu public health system in the United States. Uh, we have one of the highest infant mortality rates of any civilized nation, uh, and so there's a lot of work to be done. So the, a lot is being discussed, uh, but uh, when it comes to actually doing things, um, there's 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 something out there for all of us. You talk about a lot of work to be done. What does the future hold for your work in preventing future bioterror events or or minimizing that impact? Well, to hark back to the previous answer, um, there's work that needs to be done in the development of, uh, of various agents that would um, help remedy these diseases. There's work that needs to be done in terms of surveillance to be able to detect these diseases. There's work that needs to be done in epidemiology to be able to understand outbreaks of these diseases and control them. There's work to be done about understanding what a quarantine would represent in the 21st century. Uh, with the advent of modern air travel and people moving everywhere, it's not clear how you would limit disease um, and, and contagion of highly infect infectious diseases uh, with countermeasures. So there's work to be done on a great number of fronts, and uh, there are many agencies um, uh, that are devoted to this at the moment. Uh, but it's worth thinking about uh, because um, the protection against disease, of course, is something that man mankind has long sought and will continue to seek. And I think going into the future, I envisage a kind of war of escalation, if you will, between the ability to produce a man-made uh, bio-threat and our ability to protect against those same bio-threats. And so hopefully we'll, we'll have a number of improved measures, uh, both for surveillance and for, and for, uh, for mitigation, and uh, those measures will win out in the end. At least the discussions are being held, but again, a lot of work to do. Thank you yes. very much, Dr. Stephen Block, for joining us. My pleasure.